Hi beautiful souls, this is Ashna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming each one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Thank you for all the love coming my way. I truly appreciate it with all my heart. Today, 222. I wanted to talk about balance. Two is the energy of polarity. Bringing two different aspects together in harmony and in balance. Today is 222. Two, two. The energy of two is that of bringing two different things in balance, two poles in balance. How can we bring harmony and cooperation of polar energies? That's the key vibration of number two, because one is about you, your individual self. And the moment we bring another, another one, so there are now two individuals who are coming together, individual thoughts, individual beliefs, individual personas, when they come together, there has to be a key functioning of working together in harmony. That's the key energy of the two. I wanted to talk about masculine, feminine, the yin and the yang aspect of two polar yet complementary energies. Polar yet complementary. So what is the yin energy, the feminine energy? Feminine energy is that of receptivity, intuition, flow, passivity, cooperation. There is that joyful quality. And you're feeling full of joy and surrendering to the magic and the flow. Right? That is the yin energy energy of the moon so it has a very cooling effect masculine energy masculine energy associated with the Sun brings in that warmth the hot the action our active expression in the world determination stamina willpower physical strength being assertive being directed being on purpose so you're taking active measures and active steps to do some things in life that's your masculine energy so male or female each human being carries both of these energies but each human being can be a primary holder of one or the other it's irrespective of gender so for practical purposes, when I'm saying he, I'm referring to the masculine energy or the masculine aspect. And when I'm saying she, I'm referring to the feminine aspect or the feminine energy. I'm a female, also holder of the feminine energy. I also have my masculine energy present within me. When I am standing up for myself, creating projects, doing taking guided steps, being active rather than being passive. Okay? When I am taking charge of my own life, I'm using a lot of my own willpower, connecting myself with my own inner will and drive to do something. I'm using my masculine energy. Similarly, I am using my feminine energy when I am meditating. I am connecting with other people. I'm listening in connecting, collaborating. Sometimes I take action and sometimes I must wait and receive the guidance before I can take the next step. So the two energies must work together in harmony. It's like that seamless flow in the universe. You have seasons. When one goes, another one comes. When the night descends, there is morning. There's hot, there's cold. There is a dynamic flow between the masculine and the feminine energy in the universe. There is a give and a take. Taking action, being receptive. Time to plant the seeds, time to harvest. So there is a time and place and there is this rhythmic dance between the two energies in the universe. There's an expansion and a contraction. One doesn't exist without the other. When the masculine and the feminine energies are perfectly intertwined in a person, 
we create a very wholesome being. That's what these energies, when they're balanced, creates within us. Stability, harmony, and peace. Because we have to recognize when we must take action, when it is time to give, and then we must recognize when it is time to receive. When either of the energies within us is distorted, is suppressed, it creates a dysfunction. It creates a dysfunction and a disharmony within us. Let's start with the masculine energy. When the masculine energy is at a dysfunctional state, that person, you will see, will act out aggressively, be very domineering, aggressive, abusive, pushing others, relentlessly ambitious, ruthlessly ambitious, ruthlessly ambitious. That, when you see that, you know that the masculine energy is dysfunctional in that person, is dysfunctional in that person. The feminine energy. When the feminine energy is dysfunctional, it shows up as the person being very passive, can be manipulative, doesn't stand up for oneself, doesn't stand up for oneself, gives up control, works as a victim, very passive, very, very passive, is not a go-getter, will not go after the things that he or she believes in. I said he or she, because either of the energies, masculine and feminine, work dysfunctionally in men and women. Meaning that it's not just limited to that the feminine energy is dysfunctional in females, it could be manifesting as a dysfunction in a male and a masculine energy being dysfunctional in a female. I'll give you an example of a dysfunctioning masculine energy in a female. For instance, if someone um, during their early stages in life, during their growing up times, saw that there was a lot of competition, that they had to fend for themselves, they had to, they really had to fend for themselves. So they grew up blocking out emotions and focusing more on creating, directing, and active working. Whether that meant pushing through the challenges, pushing through, pushing through to get ahead, because that is what they had seen, that is what they had grown up with. And you'll see that play out in that person's life and when they are when they it really plays out in relationships when that person's this person's now masculine energy is distorted is dysfunctional the feminine energy is suppressed and the masculine energy in that female is heightened so it's overly active it's overly active that person is not on the is not ready to receive, is not ready to take the intuitive guidance, is not ready to surrender to the flow of emotions. So they may draw to them relationships where, which will be controlling or abusive. And they would wonder why I've drawn these people into my life. Because as a dysfunctional person, dysfunctional energy will attract like attracts like. We go back to that video of Law of attraction. Law of attraction. Whatever is your vibrational signature is what you're going to bring in. So you start bringing in these relationships, which is a match. So perhaps the match that you're going to bring in would be a person who, it, whose feminine energy is suppressed or whose feminine energy is overactive. So it, it's going to create a, a dysfunction within that relationship. That will be talk for another time. I'm going to start a series. Um, I'd actually thought about it that I had started a yin yang series a few years ago. I, I, I mean, spirit is asking me and I'm coming back to that point on 222. Um, we'll, we'll get into this and I'll think about how I want to break the conversations down, which would be more meaningful. We'll go more in depth into the series when I begin that. But for now, I want us to understand that in life, 
when these two energies within each one of us right now this has been an internal journey even on the 222 I'm asking for you to look at these two energies within you first before you even compare and look at what's manifesting outside I want you to just look at it within you how are you relating to the masculine principle within you and how are you relating to the feminine principle within you do you feel like they're imbalanced do you feel that they are imbalanced or there is some sort of a dysfunction that's existing in either of the two that would be a question that I would be leaving you with today in this video so the question is are the masculine and the feminine energies within you in a state of balance if not do you recognize the dysfunction and if you do identify one of them and the second part would be what change would you like to institute now knowing how the two energies play out what change would you like to bring within that so truly the purpose of this video today has been to shed light on the two polar energies that exist within us and to actually see how the masculine energy and the feminine energy within us has manifested in our life what aspect are we giving more more light to and what are we suppressing in our life and has the suppression and more light come about from past experiences ingrained from society or from what you've experienced now understanding that we are trying to bring wholeness within our persona so we can be whole and complete as an individual and not search for someone else to complete us to make us whole to make us whole it is our responsibility to bring healing to any dysfunction and any unhealed aspects within us of our consciousness and to shed light and love and acknowledge and recognize why certain behavior patterns had to come about why we became a bully or somebody bullied us we allowed someone to bully us why we became aggressive or why we became passive or why making money was my primary goal regardless of what the emotions are why why was there not a balance that I was able to create once we recognize without judgment I always repeat that in all my videos without judgment if we can just look at that recognize the pattern from an objective perspective allow the emotions to emerge and feel if you're feeling angry and sad and sorrowful and guilty allow the emotions to come up number one you're gonna start beginning to heal your yin energy within you because you're going to allow the flow of emotions you've got to face that emotion you cannot bury them in and once we begin to face those emotions and see that this is dysfunctional this doesn't make me feel complete we start taking steps to bring about a change and I talked about change I talked about change so uh, on 222, that's what I leave you with today, is to take a snapshot within you and see um, where the two energies are. What is the interplay between the two? How much are they integrated and how much are they sitting in separation? I'll share my own journey, but that will become a part of my chronicling of my um, life purpose and how I became um, a healer and on this path has been part to heal and I thought I needed to heal my a feminine energy not realizing that it was an over identification of my masculine energy and I had to begin with healing my own inner masculine energy so as I've been taking steps to recognize and bring love and light to those unhealed parts I'm beginning to feel more and more in alignment more whole and more complete and surrendering more and more so I'm accepting more of my yin energy now and embracing it with love embracing it with love 
I will leave you with that. And with this note, I will talk to you soon. This is Arshna for Divine Soul Resonance. Bye.